There will be five rounds of competition. We start with round one, where I would ask you general questions in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology. You'd have 30 seconds to answer a question if it involves calculations, and you'd have 10 seconds if it involves no calculations. You can answer a question in only one attempt. A correct answer to the question will give you three points. However, if a school is unable to answer, the question becomes available to the other two schools. The first school to draw my attention with the bell gets the opportunity to answer for one point. At any point in the competition, if you get a question wrong, it attracts a penalty point of one. Are we ready? Okay. We start with Holy Trinity Cathedral Senior High School. This is a preamble to all the schools. Find the area of a circle. Leave answer in pi. So find the area of a circle. Leave your answer in pi. If Holy Trinity, its area is numerically double its circumference. Yes, Alice. 2 pi r centimeters cube. Centimeters squared. No, that's incorrect. As a bonus. Okay. Do you want to answer? Yeah, Bill. Our Lady of Mercy. Yes, go ahead. We have it to be 4 pi r square units. No, that is incorrect. Okay. I would give the answers at the end of um, the questions. Tema Methodist. The area of its semicircle is numerically equal to the arc length of a quarter circle. Yes. Half pi. Yes, that is correct. And no, you can give me an answer with your mask on. I'll hear it. So you don't have to remove it. So. Our Lady of Mercy. The area of a quarter circle is numerically equal to the length of an arc, subtending an angle of 2 pi over 3, radians at the center. I saw your hand up before the bell went. I'd allow you to answer. Eight pi on three. No, that is incorrect. So for you, the answer is 64 pi on nine square units. And for Holy Tr um, Trinity, your answer was 16 pi square units. Okay, another preamble to all the schools. It is common to find that the amount of product formed experimentally is lower than the amount expected based on the theoretical yield. It is common to find that the amount of products formed experimentally is lower than the amount expected based on the theoretical yield. Give one reason only to account for this observation. So this is a preamble to all the schools. Each school will give me one reason only. Holy Trinity. Yes, what happened? The surface area. No. Varies. Okay, continue, sorry. The surface area varies for the product experimentally and then that of the 
um, expected to that yeast? No, I don't take that. Tell my Methodist. Um, it's as a result of um, some of the chemical energy not being. Uh, it's as a result of some of the chemical energy being used up and released as heat. Why no, no, I won't take that either. Our Lady of Mercy. Temperature. And mm. temperature. No, no, I won't take it. So the pro the amount of product is experimentally lower because of incomplete incomplete reactions. Because no reaction can go to hundred percent completion. And also there can be side reactions. Or also experimental errors in recovery. Okay, so these were the answers I was expecting. Holy Trinity, the initial velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis with a constant acceleration of 8 meters per second squared is minus 20 meters per second. Find the velocity of the particle after 5 seconds. Yes, what happened? 20 meters per second. That is right. Tema Methodist. Find the initial velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis with a constant acceleration of 7.0 meters per second squared if its velocity at t equals 2 seconds is 5.0 meters per second. Yes, go ahead. Negative nine meters per second. I'll take that. Our Lady of Mercy, a particle moves along the x-axis with a constant acceleration of 2.0 meters per second. Find the time for its velocity to change from minus 5.0 meters per second to 15 meters per second. Yes, Benson. Ten seconds. That is correct. This is a preamble to all the schools. Connective tissue is divided into four main categories. Connective tissue is divided into four main categories. Name one component each. So I'd like each school to give me one. I'll start from Holy Trinity. Epithelial tissue. No, I don't have that here, no. Tell my Methodist. Bones. No, I'll take that. That's correct. Our Lady of Mercy. Yes. Cartilage. I'll take that as well. Okay, so I have connective proper cartilage, bone, and blood. Okay. Holy Trinity. A radionuclide has a half life of 14.2 minutes. Given an initial amount of 64 grams, how many grams of the radionuclide will remain after 56.8 minutes? Yes, Ellis. Six grams. No, that's incorrect. A bonus. I saw the bell is not working, but I saw um, their hand up first. Our Lady of Mercy. Four grams. That is correct. Okay, we'll just pause so they fix the bell.
rate. Tema Methodist, 4.20 milligrams of a radioisotope has a half-life of 7.2 hours and is required for diagnosis in a hospital. Given that it takes 21.6 hours to transport it from the laboratory to the hospital, what is the minimum amount of the radionuclide that should be made? Zero point two milligram. No, that is incorrect. <laughs> Holy Trinity. One point four milligrams. No, no, that is incorrect. You need to have a minimum of thirty three point six milligrams. Okay. Our Lady of Mercy, a forty eight gram sample of a radioisotope has a half-life of 32 seconds. How many grams of the sample will have decayed after one to 128 seconds? Yes, Benson. Madam, you have 45 grams. That is correct. Holy Trinity, find the effective capacitance of a capacitor network made up of a 15 microfarad capacitor in parallel with an 11 microfarad capacitor. Yes, Ellis. 26 microfarad. That is correct. Tema Methodist. Find the capacitance of the capacitor that must be connected in parallel with a 12 microfarad capacitor to obtain a net capacitance of 58 microfarad. What is this microfarad? That is right. Our Lady of Mercy. Find the effective capacitance of a parallel combination of a 22 microfarad capacitor and a 47 microfarad capacitor. Sixty-nine microfarad. That is also correct. This is a preamble to all the schools. Name the type of vectors that normally pollinate the following plants. Name the type of vectors that normally pollinate the following plants. Holy Trinity, maize. Yes. Wind. I'll take that. Tema Methodist, rice. I'll take that as well. Our Lady of Mercy, Popo. Yes, Tofik. Wind. No, that is incorrect. Bonus to Tema, Tema Methodist. Insect. That is correct. Okay. Given that I squared equals minus one, evaluate bracket open three plus two I bracket closed bracket open two minus three I bracket closed. That's Holy Trinity.
Yes, yes. Go ahead with your answer. Twelve minus five i. That is correct. Tell my Methodist. Bracket open. Four plus three i. Bracket closed. Bracket open. Three minus four i. Bracket closed. Yes. 24 minus 7i. That is correct. Our Lady of Mercy, bracket open, 5 plus 12i, bracket closed, bracket open, 12 minus 5i, bracket closed. Yes, Benson. We have 120 plus 119i. That is correct. This brings us to the end of round one. COVID-19 has changed the world. But despite the challenges, the spirit of Africanacity is still alive. It's in the tenacity of the men and women keeping us going. It's in the creativity you use to work, teach, and do it all. And it's in the ingenuity of all those who are making a difference. Thank you to everyone still getting things done. Your Africanacity inspires us. At the end of round one, here are the scores. Holy Trinity Cathedral Senior High School, 11 points. Our Lady of Mercy Senior High School, 16 points. Tema Methodist Senior High School, 19 points. Round two. Round two is the speed race. Here, questions are thrown to all the schools at the same time. In the first um, school to ring the bell to draw my attention has the opportunity to answer. If the answer correctly, three points. If the answer is incorrect, negative one. If the, yeah, if the answer is incorrect, negative one. And then the question becomes available to the other schools for two marks if the answer correctly. If that is also wrong, the last school has the opportunity to answer but for one mark. Like I've already mentioned, at each point, if your answer is incorrect, minus one. Okay. Our first question. What name is given to masking the character of one gene? Hold on. Let me call you first before you answer. Which school rang the bell? The Methodist. Dominus. That is incorrect. Second school. Okay. Yeah, Holy Trinity. Recessive. No, that is also incorrect. 
Okay, so one name is given to masking the character of one gene by another gene. Okay, epistasis, epistasis. One name is given to closely related species living in the same area. Holy Trinity. A population of the species. No. Living in the same area or habitat. St. Patrick. In which ways are exoskeletons similar to endoskeletons? Tema Methodist. They all provide movement in the organisms. No, I won't take that. Okay, so they are both responsible for structural support. They provide support of the body. Make y the subject of the equation. 2y minus 1 equals x, bracket open, y plus 2, bracket closed. Tema Methodist. We have y and equal to negative 1. Hold on, okay. So if your school is answering... Don't ring your bell so I can hear them. Okay, go ahead. We have y to be equal to negative 1 minus 2x all over uh, 2 plus 1, uh, 2 plus uh, x. No, that is incorrect. Ellis, um, yeah, Holy Trinity, sorry. We have, we have y to be equal to. We have y to be equal to 2x plus 1 all over 2 minus x. Yes, that is correct. Take that. Give the equation of a circle with center C, 2 minus 3, and touching the x-axis. Tema Methodist. We have x minus 2 on to bracket squares plus y plus 3 on to bracket squared equals 9. That is correct. Two fair dice are thrown once. Find the probability that the product of the scores is 6. Our Lady of Mercy. 5 on 36. No. Holy Trinity. There's no probability. No. So it's one over nine. In a photoelectric effect experiment, 6.00 EV photons eject electrons from a clean metal surface. Find the work function of the metal if the greatest electron kinetic energy is 1.92. I'm a Methodist. So we have 5.08 electron volts. No, I won't take that. That's incorrect. Okay, so it's 4.08 electron volts. Find the impedance of a series RL circuit with R equals 40 ohms and L equals 2 Henry at an angular frequency of 15 radians per second. Tema Methodist. 50 ohm. That is correct. How much water at 25 degrees Celsius must be added to 50 grams of water at 95 degrees Celsius in a container of negligible thermal properties to bring the temperature to, to bring the temperature of the mixture to 50 degrees Celsius.
Okay, so you need 90 grams of water. For a hydrated sodium trioxocarbonate for salt, the mass of water of crystallization is approximately the same as the anhydrous salt. Given that the molecular mass of Na2CO3 is 106 grams per mole, how many molecules of water are present in the hydrated compound? Therma Methodist. 50%. Come again. 50%. No, that is incorrect. Yes. Six moles. Yes, I'm asking you how many molecules. I tell me 50%. <laughs> Determine the sum of the stoichiometric coefficients of the products formed when propane undergoes complete combustion in air. I'm a Methodist. Okay. We have uh, uh, C288 plus 6O2 going to 2CO2 plus 4H2O. No, mm -hmm. that's incorrect. Holy Trinity. Madam, the sum is 16. No. And Go ahead. And the equation for the reaction is C3. H8 plus 5 H2O producing 3 moles of CO2 plus 4 moles of H2O. I won't take that. Our Lady of Mercy. The sum is 12. And then the, the sum is 12. No, that's incorrect. I'm not sure you. You listen to I just asked for the sum of the stoichiometric coefficients. I didn't even ask for the balanced equation. So you had the equation right. And I asked for the sum of the of the products. So that's seven. Three CO2 and four H2. Seven. How many atoms are present in one formula unit of Fe2 bracket open SO4 bracket closed? Three. Subscript three. Who rang the bell? I'll let you answer. OK, um, Our Lady of Mercy. 17 atoms. That is correct. That brings us to the end of round two. Unlock banking with biometrics. Now you can access the APSA mobile banking app using your fingerprint or facial recognition. Download today. That's Africanacity. That's APSA.
At the end of the second round, here are the scores. Holy Trinity Cathedral Senior High School, 11 points. Our Lady of Mercy Senior High School, 17 points. Tema Methodist Senior High School, 19 points. Okay, before we go on to round three, Holy Trinity Cathedral would like to make a substitution. So we have Bismarck Aite coming on for Wahab Abdul Naim. Okay, so round three is the problem of the day. And at stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star, which will be awarded to a school that earns a perfect score of 10 points for this problem. At this stage, the NSMQ star is worth 2,000 Ghana cities to the team. So I would present a problem to all three schools. You have them on your um, tables for now. And you would have four minutes. Don't turn it over. When I'm ready, I'll tell you to turn it over. You'd have four minutes when I finish reading the question to present me an answer on the board. So at the end of four minutes, I want your answers on the board. And I'll come onto the board and then grade it today. Okay, so this is a bit different. That's why you have four minutes. So whatever you do, at the end of four minutes, when the bell goes, your answer should be on the board. Okay? And then I, w I, I don't need to take the sheets from you. I just come look on the board and grade it. Is that fine? Okay. So you can turn over your script and then we'll read the problem of the day together. Find, that's Bismarck IT. You are giving them too much time, right? They have their question. Quickly. No, that's him, the second one. So don't write, don't write anything. We haven't read yet. Just, just wait. Yes, you can write here first, you can write on the board first, whatever, at the end of four minutes, the answer is on the board. So you can leave this off. The answer is on the board, it's part of the four minutes. Yes. So this is the problem. Find an equation of the circle that passes through the three points. A is 2, 3, B is 4, 5, and C is 0, minus 3. In the form x squared plus y squared plus 2fx plus 2gy plus c equals 0. Find the coordinates of the center of the circle. Start work. <laughs> Chat to us anytime, anywhere. Access our virtual assistant, the APSA bot, 24-7. That's Africanacity. That's APSA.
So you have one minute, okay? One minute more. Okay, so thank you. Stop work. Okay, so this is a problem from maths where you are to find the equation of a circle. You are given three points which the circle passes through and you are, to, you are given the form of the equation of the circle and also you are to give the coordinates. Okay, so like you all started for point A, you put in the values. For point A, you put the values into the um, equation Point B, you do same. Point C, you do same. So this is in an attempt to find the um, 
constant, you have FG and C, okay? And then that was going to help you um, write up the equation of the circle. And then from there, you find the um, coordinates of the center. So for Holy Trinity, you started, you put the values of point A, B, and C in there. And so for that attempt, for each point you put in the equation, I'll give you one mark. So that would be three marks. And then also you, try, you started trying to solve for the constant by doing some simultaneous equations. Now I'll give you one mark for that as well. From there, yeah, you, you couldn't get on to find the constant to write the equation or determine the coordinates of the center. So for your effort, you, I'll give you four marks. Thema Methodist. This is the same thing Thema Methodist did. So they also put, in the, put, the, put the points in the equation. So they did for A, they did for B, and for C as well. And um, they also tried solving the equation simultaneously so they could arrive at the, the values for the constants F, G, and C. They were unable to do that either. So same as Holy Trinity, I give them four points for their effort. Our Lady of Mercy, they did the same. They put um, the coordinates for A, B, and C in the equation. They solved simultaneously, and they were able to determine the values for G and C correctly. And so for that effort, I also give them six out of 10. Because they went further and gave us the values for the constant. They couldn't provide the equation for the circle or the um, coordinates for the center. So that was the marks they missed. Okay, so that is the end of round three. Unlock Banking with Biometrics. Now you can access the APSA mobile banking app using your fingerprint or facial recognition. Download today. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. Every now and again, Goyle makes good things happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel. Go Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Go Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Go Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Go Super XP Run 95. Now, there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goyle has that sorted. Goyle, good energy. I just sent you a hotel to go money from my new number. We delivered two healthy kids last night. Congrats. Have you heard? Quincy has two kids. Have you heard? Round four. Round four is a true or false round. Here, I'll make a statement to each school, and the contestant will tell me whether the statement I make is true or false. You'd have 10 seconds to give me an answer. For a correct answer, you have two points. An incorrect answer, minus one. If a school declines to answer, the, um, the statement becomes available to the remaining two schools, and the school that rings the bell first has the opportunity to answer for the same two marks if it's correct, and minus one if they are wrong. Okay, in this round, I'll start with Thema Methodist. Elements are substances that can be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. False. That is correct. Our Lady of Mercy. Compounds are substances formed when two or more chemical elements are physically bonded together. No, let me, okay, let me read that question right so that you, 
Compounds are substances formed from two or more chemical elements that are physically bonded together. Yes, Tofik. False. That is correct. Holy Trinity. Pure substances have definite and consistent composition and are composed of elements or compounds. Into the microphone. Two. That is correct. Thema Methodist. For an omic substance, potential difference is proportional to current. True. Yes, that's correct. Our Lady of Mercy. For an omic substance, resistance is proportional to current. Yes, Benson. False. That's correct. Holy Trinity. For an omic substance, resistance is inversely proportional to current. True. No, that's false. This is a preamble to all the schools. State whether the following are true or false with respect to homologous structures. With respect to homologous structures. Thema Methodist. They follow similar growth patterns. True. No, it's false. Our Lady of Mercy. They must link both species to a common ancestor. Yes. False. No, it's true. Holy Trinity. They do not have to have the same function. Yes. False. No, it's true. Tema Methodist. The function, of F, the function F of X equals 3X cubed minus 5 is an odd function. False. Yes, that's correct. Our Lady of Mercy. The function f of x equals 4x squared plus 3 is an even function. Yes, Benson. True. That is correct. Holy Trinity. The function f of, f of x equals x on the expression x squared plus 1 is an odd function. False. Into the microphone. False. No, that's incorrect. Tell my Methodist. The element with the highest atomic number on the periodic table is the most dense. False. Yes, that's correct. Our Lady of Mercy, as atomic number increases, the size of elements gets larger. Yes, perfect. False. That's correct. Holy Trinity. Hydrogen, the first element on the periodic table, is the least dense. It's true. Yes, that's correct. It's true. Thema Methodist. Two equal and opposite charges attract each other equally. False. No, it's true. Our Lady of Mercy. Two equal charges repel each other equally. Yes, Tofik. True. Yes, it's true. Holy Trinity. Two unequal charges exert forces of unequal magnitude on each other. False. That's correct. 
the preamble to all the schools, states whether the following differences between seeds and pollen are true or false. So the questions refer to seeds and pollen. Okay. Tema Methodist. Seeds do not contain the gametes for reproduction, but pollen do contain gametes. True. Yes, that's right. Our Lady of Mercy. Seeds are generally smaller in size than pollen. Yes, Tofik. False. That's correct. Holy Trinity. Seeds are the end products of the reproduction cycle of most seed plants, while pollen are part of the starting phase of the plant's reproduction process. True. That is correct. Tema Methodist. A quadrilateral with opposite angles congruent is a rhombus. Yes, that's correct. Our Lady of Mercy, the opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent. Yes, Tofik. False. No, it's true. Holy Trinity, if the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal, then adjacent angles are supplementary. Yes, True. that is correct. On that note, round four. The scores are Holy Trinity Cathedral Senior High School, 22 points. Our Lady of Mercy Senior High School, 33 points. Tema Methodist Senior High School, 33 points. This brings us to round five, which is the Goyle Riddle Bonanza. Here, a school that answers three or four riddles correctly will be rewarded. At this stage, three correct riddles from one school will be worth 800 Ghana CDC to the team. And if a school answers all the riddles correctly, they will win 1,200 Ghana CDs for their team. So for the riddles, I read out clues to the riddles. All the schools are at the same time. And now at any point whilst I'm reading, if you are ready to answer, you just draw my attention with the bell. I'll pause and allow you to answer. If I'm on the first clue or just done with it, and you answer correctly, that is five points. On the fourth, four points. On the third or any other clue thereafter, three points. Okay? Best wishes to all the schools. Our first riddle. I am a frequency diagram. I can be used to determine the mood. I can be used to determine the median. Okay, Our Lady of Mercy. Cumulative frequency curve. 
No, that is incorrect. The Tema Methodist. Yes. Histogram. That is correct. That was on the third clue, so three points. Our next riddle. I am a physical quantity. I am actually a rate. I quantify the decay of a radioactive object. Okay, Tema Methodist. Activity. That was on the third clue, three points. Our third riddle. I am produced mainly in soils and from agricultural activities. On the one hand, I bring happiness. On the other hand, I bring heat. This is because I am a major greenhouse gas. Our Lady of Mercy. Yes. Me too. No, that is incorrect. Holy Trinity. Carbon dioxide. Okay, that's even incorrect. They are wrong. So you just answer, please. Yes. So answer. You said you had rang the bell. Yes. Nitrogen, nitrogen gas. No, that is incorrect. So, okay, I'll just continue and give the answer. So I'm a major greenhouse gas and contribute to global warming. So while you may call me a laughing gas, it's more serious than that. You know that now. What gas am I talking about? Nitrogen one oxide. Okay. Our last riddle. I am a large structural polysaccharide made from chains of modified glucose molecules. Like cellulose, no vertebrate animal can digest me on their own. I can form solid structures on my own as in insect wings. Okay. Our Lady of Mercy. Kiting. That is correct. That brings us to the end of round five. Senior High School, 22 points. Our Lady of Mercy Senior High School, 36 points. Tema Methodist Senior High School, 39 points. That makes Tema Methodist Senior High School obviously our winners for this contest. But Our Lady of Mercy Senior High School also gets to compete in the next contest with the two other schools. So they have another opportunity to prove themselves. Well done to all the schools. Thank you. So thank you to my audience for being with us throughout this context. Uh, the National Science and Maths Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Bank, with support from Joy News, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Goyle, Airtel Tigo, Dano Milk, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City College, Central University, GTP, Adanse Travels, Third Eye Care and Vision Center, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, and YFM. This is a prime time production. Thank you. A 
Synapsa. Online banking with biometrics. Now you can access the Absa mobile banking app using your fingerprint or facial recognition. Download today. That's Africanacity. That's Absa. COVID-19 has changed the world, but despite the challenges, the spirit of Africanacity is still alive. It's in the tenacity of the men and women keeping us going. It's in the creativity you use to work, teach and do it all. And it's in the ingenuity of all those who are making a difference. Thank you to everyone still getting things done. Your Africanacity inspires us.